Hello guys, welcome back to town and welcome back to garage and welcome back to some race truck content. So finally getting back on race truck. Um, really haven't done much to it since we were at Crossville Dragway for uh, the Rocky Top Diesel Shootout where we ended up burning up a piston in our engine. No, we still do not have our engine. Are we going to make the Waggler race at the beginning of the season? I don't know. Um, and I will go into full depth on that um, when the time comes, when we get our engine and all that, because it is my fault. It's nothing to do with freedom. We made some decisions and uh, then we weren't able to, you know, really do it. And anyway, we'll get into it at that point. But we are still, needless to say, vacant up front, which sucks, but it is what it is. Like I said, that's that's on my shoulder. So anyway, tonight we are going to be kind of working on every, everything or a bunch of stuff that is in regards to getting the truck ready for the Waggler race. So if we have our engine, we can slap it in there and go. So first thing we are doing, we are actually going to be changing out our shifter and getting rid of our fire pump anteater. So we are doing this because we are going to this Suncoast Fastback shifter. Um, it is an air shifter, and we got this through our friends at Hardway Performance. So what's special about this air shifter, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and then neutral and reverse is the same spot because the guys at Muldoon's have upgraded our transmissions to trans brake valve bodies. So they're manual trans brake valve bodies, so um, overdrive fourth gear will no longer be electronically controlled like it is in the anteater it will now be manually controlled with this shifter so we will have a trans brake now so everything we did last year was on a foot brake um had some trouble holding the truck back at the line and stuff like that the trans brake will let the truck hit the tire harder also get off the line quicker so, you know because of your brake drag and all that um so we are going to a trans brake setup. That being said, we will be controlling this with a smart relay um, that we also got from the guys at Hardway Performance. I don't know a ton about it yet. I'm still learning the software and all that, um, but we will get to that in due time. So first things first is to change our shifter out. I don't know if our mount is going to work. Um, what I would like to do, because this one's mounted to the floor, is actually come off of our um, seat bracketry and try and have the shifter off that way. Might not work, I don't know yet until we get this one off, or we might just reuse what we have. Haven't decided that yet. So we're gonna get in that, get this fast back mounted. Now how this thing works, what's nice about it, why it's called a fast back, is if you pull, or if you push this down and pull the lever, you can go all the way back to one. So then when it shifts, the air shifter will hit it. First, second, third, overdrive, and then to go to neutral or reverse. And now I don't know 100% the wiring on the transmission, but this being neutral and reverse, I guess you just hold the trans brake button and then it will back the truck up. Just a guess, haven't really gotten anything yet to know 100% how it works, but that's kind of just telling you right there, neutral and reverse. And then to go in the park, push down the button, grab, and we are in park. So that's what we're gonna start off with, getting our fastback, uh, fast back mounted in the truck and getting rid of our anteater. We're also going to get rid of our turbo smart wastegate can, or not wastegate uh, blow off valve controller because we stopped using the blow off valve at Rudy's last year because they're obviously not necessary for what we're doing because nobody runs one. None of the pro mods, nobody like that. So we're just going to get rid of that. So, all right, let's get rid of this stuff and get this in.
Our fastback shifter is now mounted. We have it on our original mount. I was going to do something off the side here, and it was just like, you know what? With time constraints and all that, it's easier to just go with what we had. I did cut it down because I originally had a brace here because before we were slapping a shifter and I didn't want it moving all around. But we can cut the shifter, put it back in first, and then the uh, air shifter will take over in first, second, third, overdrive, neutral slash reverse, and park. I have not run the cable down to the uh, transmission because we just have our mock-up transmission in there. We'll wait till we get our units back from Muldoon's. Um, that being said, this is not going to be ran off of air. We're actually going to run it off of nitrous oxide because doing what we do, we're always going to have pressure with that system. It's not like you have to worry about filling up a CO2 bottle or whatever. So every time we have our nitrous on, our shifter will work. We'll have a regulated setup and all that. Haven't gotten that far. Obviously, as you can see, we are also doing some unwiring. Uh, yeah. Uh, our wiring started off pretty nice last year, the beginning of the year, and just ended up being a total mess, which it is right now, as you can see. Uh, pulled the ammeter out, pulled off our uh, blow-off valve, all that kind of stuff. Also pulled out our CTS-2, our Edge CTS-2, which we used our gauges. Uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, transmission temperature, so on and so forth. That's pretty much all we use our edge for. We're gonna go to a better logging setup, whether we'll have it for the Waggler race or not, I don't know. But we definitely wanna to go to a dash of some sort and all that kind of stuff. But definitely got rid of that, got rid of some wiring up here in the engine area. So it's looking a little better, still kind of looks like a cluster. Just because, well, there's nothing in the middle here to make everything sort out right. So, like I said, got rid of a lot of the edge uh, wiring that you see on the floor here. Like I said, a bunch of different sensors and stuff like that. We're going to go to a better setup because doing the Pro Street stuff that we're going to do to be competitive at a Pro Street level, we need data. We need to be able to learn more about the truck, what we're doing, what went wrong in the past, what went right, you know, all that kind of stuff. So data is going to be king. So we just need to get that set up in. So, I mean, I know it doesn't seem like the most productive night in the garage, but we got our shifter in, we got some wiring out, and definitely a lot of thought on the truck because we have a lot to do. Um, to get this thing back in fighting shape, we definitely have a lot of stuff that we have to take care of but it's one piece at a time really. And controlling our new fastback shifter is gonna be this smart relay that we got from the guys at Hardway Performance. This thing is a pretty cool piece. Um, it will do a lot of controls. It's gonna do all of the things that the anteater did, plus some. Um, so we're gonna be able to use that smart relay for all of our shifts, our bumps, our... Um, our trans brake, all that kind of stuff. And if you had a gas application, you could do way, way more than we're ever gonna use on a diesel application. So something I still have to learn about and then we'll wire it up and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, just a little bit done in the garage tonight, but it's just another piece of the puzzle. So hope you enjoyed. Please like your video, subscribe down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrench on your truck.